guys, um, so it has been about a million years since I've done a video. Um, I think it's literally been like six months or something. Um, I have no excuse for not having done a video in so long. It's basically just, um, you know, it's like I always want to have a point to my video and not to just sort of ramble. And when I'm actually on my blog, um, it's a lot easier to just kind of do a stream of consciousness writing. But I always feel kind of guilty doing that in video form. So anyhow, I decided that it's just more important for me to be posting videos and doing it regularly. And they might not have a point. And it might be a lot of rambling like this. Um, but at the very least, I'm going to try to start doing it more frequently. So, um, as you can see, I now have bangs. Uh, my hair is also really, really long as well. Um, and uh, I had my bangs cut about, gosh, maybe like two months ago by Paul Jean. Um, Paul Jean is a stylist in Beverly Hills. He has a salon on Robertson Boulevard. And I think that he is literally the best kept secret in LA. Um, I've been to pretty much every single hairdresser in LA, all the top ones with the fancy PR people, um, and the spreads in vogue and all of that. And I, I think Paul Jean smokes them all. He's just so, so good. Um, so I want to do a post later, uh, at some point in the future about cutting your own bangs because he gave me the bangs and the kind of, you know, sex see like Brigitte Bardot hair, um, but then I've been trimming the bangs myself in between visits uh, using some of the tips and tricks that Paul Jean showed me, so I'll do a separate post on that. Um, but for today's video, I wanted to talk about two hair products that I'm really, really obsessing over right now. Um, one is uh, this product Liquid Silk, which is a professional deep conditioning treatment. And as you guys might remember, I used to work for Liquid a couple of years ago, or rather I did uh, social media for them as they were one of my clients. And so, you know, I had a ton of their products all over my house and I used them all the time. And of course I wrote about them because I loved them. Um, but then we parted ways and it's been a couple of years. And so I've kind of like forgotten about them, to be totally honest. And I was shopping my beauty closet a couple days ago, as I sometimes do, where I'm like, oh, here's this product. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Um, and I came across the liquid silk and my hair has been pretty dry and damaged recently. Um, and so I've just been air drying it a lot recently and it, it has this kind of like fuzzy texture. Um, which I like. I feel like it's kind of shaggy and fun and Blake Lively-esque. But regardless, I've been in, in the market for a new intensive deep conditioner, and I came across the Liquid Silk, which I remember that I used to love. So I gave it a go, and oh my god, this stuff is so good. Seriously, if you have dry hair, if you have thick hair, if you have coarse or damaged hair, this stuff is literally like liquid gold. Um, liquid, liquid gold. Um, I cannot recommend it more highly. I have no, you know, horse in the race right now, no skin in the game, um, zero affiliation with liquid, and I still think this stuff is just as amazing as I did a couple years ago. So I'm glad that I refound it. Um, and I've been playing with a bunch of different uh, intensive conditioners over the past couple of weeks, trying this trying that, and none of the ones that I've tried are as good as Liquid Silk, so you must check this out. The other thing that I'm really loving at the moment is just dry shampoo. Um, I've always been a fan of dry shampoo. I've been using it for years because I am lazy and I don't like to wash my hair every day or even every two days or even every three days. Um, I basically wash my hair twice a week. And so this stuff is excellent because it keeps you from having to, you know, wash your hair and then blow dry it and just put it through the styling wringer. Um, and you can just spritz a little bit in and then you can either fluff it through or you can comb out your hair or brush out your hair um, and it'll give you a nice kind of lived in look like this. So um, this is very highly, heavily uh, hair powdered right now. Um, but what I do with the bangs that I love um, is I'll just pull up the back of my hair and then the front bit, so it's just the bangs and the area around the face, like let's say maybe this part, um, I'll shampoo and condition it literally in my sink, um, just very haphazardly, and then I'll blow it dry. And so that allows me to have the hair around my face clean and fresh and looking good. Um, and then the rest of my hair I can just fill in with the hair powder, uh, which is what I actually did today. Um, so this particular uh, brand is uh, Chlorine, Chloron, I never know how to pronounce it. Um, it's one of the best. One of the things that I like about this particular product is that it's very powdery. It's very heavy, it's very white, so if you have dark hair it's not going to be for you. Um, but it really just gives a lot of grip and hold and texture to the hair. Um, and so one of the things that you can actually do, and I, I picked this trick 
uh, I picked this trick up this weekend um, at a post Grammys party uh, from Charles Baker Strayan, who's a hairstylist. Um, he was talking about how you can actually use dry shampoo on clean hair and it'll give it that amazing grip and that amazing texture and just kind of make it more fun to work with and play with. So I thought that was a pretty cool trick. Um, I'm always a huge fan of dry shampoo and uh, I also like the Batiste. I like the All Nighter. I like Finley, you know, a bunch of brands I'm loving, but right now Chloron is my jam. So that is it. Uh, I will do another video soon, and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.